If you're looking for an affordable LED COB light that will satisfy your need if ever you are trying to imitate the sunlight, the Golden Eagle LED 3000 might be the best option for you. More of this after the intro. Para mong pro! What's up guys, Ronald and Shal and boy, thank you so much for coming back here on my channel. Today, we are going to review yet another LED COB light, but this time, it's from a company that I never heard about, honestly. It's from Golden Eagle. You heard about them already? Me? Uh-uh, not really, until they reached out and introduced themselves. And boy, how I wish I already knew them before they emailed me, because I found out that they have quality products in store for us filmmakers. Not just quality products, okay? They are affordable as well. You should check out their website, guys. The link is in the description. They sent me this monstrosity. This is the Golden Eagle LED 3000. Reminds me of Iron Man's Proton Cannon. Proton Cannon! You know about Proton Cannon? Well, you're probably old. This thing is big. And we'll talk about this after this disclaimer. Golden Eagle sent me this just to test, but they didn't pay me to create this review video, so all of my opinions about this product will be honest and true. Now, to formally begin this review video, let's go see first what's in the box. Inside the box, you get the LED 3000. You get a type I power cable, and they are also kind enough to send me a type B power cable. You also get a remote control, a brochure, a user manual, and a warranty card. And that's pretty much it. The Golden Eagle LED 3000 is a 300 watt LED COB light. It has a CRI or color rendering index of 97. How bright? I'm not quite sure because I don't have a light meter here, but it says in the website at 100% intensity, it measures 42,900 lux at one meter. Well, I hope that helps. Let's talk about the build quality. It is huge, man, really. Here's a comparison. Here's the Forza 60. Here is the Godox SL60W. And this is the Golden Eagle LED 3000. Big difference, right? It is made out of metal. Well, majority of it. Some parts are made out of plastic. And I understand why they did that just to cut the cost. But it is solid and robust. The design is really not that fancy. Just a normal looking LED COB light. And maybe that is also one of the reasons why it's affordable. It has a standard sized Bowens mount to mount different modifiers. Underneath the mount, an umbrella mount is integrated, which is good for people who uses umbrellas, most especially when it's the rainy season. Just kidding. I gotta sneeze. I'm not sick. It's, it's the dust. The power supply is already built in, so you won't have to worry about dangling bricks, and it's also the reason why it's ginormous. The cooling fan is also built in. Well, of course. And this thing is loud, but not that loud. To give you a number, the noise of the cooling fan is less than 15 decibels. I'll let you hear it. Let me just, uh, here's my mic. Now I'll turn it on. Yeah, it's there. Let me put this back to where it belongs. Cables and cables. Turn this thing off. You don't want to use this near your microphones. Really. Behind the light, we have an LED display panel to show us what's happening. It has a power switch and a dimmer knob to change the intensity. Intensity level is from 1% to 100% in increments of 1%. This knob is also a button to change modes. Let's press that and you can see here that it has a silent mode. Yes, you can shut the fan off and that's a good thing. And as you saw earlier, you cannot use this light's full intensity once you enabled the silent mode. It will only run up to 60% intensity if the silent mode is turned on. Now let me show you that. Here is the light at 100% intensity with the fan turned on. Let me enable the silent mode there. A big difference when it comes to the intensity, but if you need that fan to be quiet, there's that feature. The Golden Eagle LED 3000 also has its built-in effects. Effect A is flash. Effect B is TV. 
Effect C is fire. And effect D is party. The Golden Eagle LED 3000 also has four channels to choose from. To change channels, you can just press the knob button. It came with a remote control that can control the light from 100 meters. The remote control can change the intensity and also it can switch it on and off. You can also control other lights on different channels with this remote control by toggling the switch here. Okay, now that we are done with all the features, let's go see what this light can do. Right now, I am using it as a key light without a soft box or diffusion. One meter away from me and it is at 1%. Let me increase the intensity to 50%. Man, that's a lot. And we're not done yet. Let's go crank it up to 100%. And as you can see, it is blinding bright. Now let's compare it with my other COB LED lights to see the difference when it comes to color rendering. Right now, I am using the Golden Eagle LED 3000 as my key light with a softbox. Now I am using the Godox SL60W. Here I am using the Nanlite Forza 60. Now let's see them all again side by side. They are all at 5600 Kelvin. Now by looking at these clips, I can say that the colors of the Nanlite Forza 60 and the Golden Eagle 3000 is close to each other. Natural looking and a little bit warm. The Godox SL60W on the other hand has a bit of a magenta shift. How about you? Comment your observation in the comment section below. And now I'll be doing an experiment. Since this is a 300 watt LED COB light, you'll probably use this as a window light to simulate daylight. So come on, let's do that. As you can see here, I am using the Golden Eagle as my window light. And here is my setup. Now I can say that this is really effective considering the fact that this is 300 watts. You can definitely use this to simulate a day scene. Now that we are done with the features, tests, and comparisons, here are my final thoughts about the Golden Eagle LED 3000. And here are the things I like. Number one, it is really quick to set up because you just need one power cable to get this up and running. Number two, I also like the fact that the power input is underneath the light. I sometimes forget to plug in the cable to the unit first before I race it up on a stand. So yeah, having that power input underneath is helpful. Number three, I like the fact that you can turn the fan off. So if you are recording inside a studio like this one, the fan noise won't be a problem. Number four, I like that it remembers the last used setting. So no hassle if ever you wanna turn this off, you just have to turn it on again and it will remember the stuff you did before you turn it off. This thing remembers everything, so you be careful. Number five, it is really affordable. Most 300 watt COB LED light ranges from 800 to $1,000. You can get this light for just $529. Now here are the things that I don't like about the Golden Eagle LED 3000. First thing is, the dimmer knob is really slow. It will take time to go from 1% to 100%. But there's a remedy to that. Just use the remote control. It's much faster. Second thing that bugs me is this dish or this light modifier. It has no hole for an umbrella. But I understand that some people are using their umbrellas without this dish, so yeah. Third thing is, it's too big and it didn't come with a travel case. Fourth thing is, it only runs on AC power. You don't have an option to use this with batteries like a V-mount battery. So if you are going to use this outdoors, you need an AC power supply. The fan noise is really not an issue for me, just as long as you can turn it off. Mm, that will be fine. Now who is this light for? If you're just starting out and you don't have a big budget for high-powered COB LED light for your films, the Golden Eagle LED 3000 is for you. Now that has been my review of the Golden Eagle LED 3000 300 watt COB light. If you want to know more about this awesome light, check out the link 
below. Thank you so much Golden Eagle for sending this here in the attic. Now, if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that bell as well. Once again, this has been Rhino Denshal. Thank you so much for being here, and see you in the next video.